and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ash Jarvan. That's right, we're going to be playing another Jarvan deck, trying out uh, some different Jarvan decks, right? Because we haven't really found one that we love yet. We played Jarvan with Scouts, which was our best for, uh, deck with Jarvan so far. But we want to keep on experimenting with Jarvan. And we got a donation deck to just build an Ash Jarvan deck. So that's what we're going to do. So we're comb combining Freljord and Demacia uh, with these two together, combining Scouts. Uh, we got some Scouts because Scouts are nice with Jarvan, being able to have two attacks with a Jarvan because um, if you can just Scout attack, you can spend your six mana, put Jarvan into play attacking, and then you have an additional attack after that where you can attack with Jarvan again. So that's definitely nice. Um, we got our Grand Plazas in here to give these things Challenger because the Grand Plaza does make cards like Green Fang Warden, Grizzled Ranger, Great Horn Companion all much better. And so we're going to have that. We have Rhyme to Shaman, Frostbiting the Strongest Enemy, Round Start, because of course we're going to want to have a lot of Frostbites with Ash. And so that's something where if we're like, if it goes to like our round, our attack round, and we Frostbite the Strongest Enemy, then if we have like Grand Plaza, you know, like we play something like a Great Horn Companion, we can immediately just challenge that uh, thing that used to be the strongest enemy that now has zero health or zero power and kill it and then maybe put like a Jarvan in play attacking something else you know like we can do some cool stuff with that um, another new card though that we want in here is Cataclysm and that's also Jarvan's champion spell this should work really well in the deck this should work well with both champions an ally starts a free attack challenging an enemy we want to do this um, on a turn where we do not normally have the attack token and we can use this with a scout uh, card where we can get like a free attack with a scout and then get um, an additional attack after that however this does also work with both of our champions especially with ash because if we just use cataclysm with ash ash will start an attack um and we can f whenever ash attacks it frostbites the strongest enemy so if we use cataclysm like if they have like a five five and plays their strongest enemy we cataclysm the the five five ash will frostbite it and then we get a free kill so we can basically treat that like a single combat plus a flash freeze together, right? Like it's basically a combination flash freeze plus single combat um, with that. So that that could be really cool. All right, and then we have a field of rush at the top end. I, you know, like there's a lot of good top end cards here. I thought about playing uh, King Jarvan the third. Plus we got the new prismatic King, King Jarvan the third today also. Thought about playing that. That's a good one. Um, also a card like Tiana could be really cool here bright bright steel formation can steal games any of those kind of work but i'm going to go with feel the rush putting in a 10 10 jarvan 10 10 ash that could be kind of cool i do feel like we're going to really struggle leveling up jarvan allies have survived four plus strikes from enemy blockers because whenever we frostbite their stuff if we're going to be frostbiting in combat a lot they won't be striking like if they have zero power they're not striking so it doesn't count as surviving that so i think that leveling up jarvan is going to be pretty tough but that's just how it is. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to it. We're gonna try some Ash Jarvan over in Ranked. Ooh, playing a spooky deck. Three Shadow Isles champions splashing Freljord. Could be a They Who Endure deck, which Frostbite is good against They Who Endure. I'm going to mulligan these three cards. We wanna kinda of find our champions, especially Ash. We want Grand Plaza. All right, uh, prediction is available. Y'all can wager your channel points. Mm. No, I don't have any of the four mana barrier rally. No, with playing the cataclysms and, you know, we have to have like all these frostbite cards. I didn't find room for any of those. Oh, really? Single combat? I couldn't have had you last turn? Hopefully it works. Please work. No! That's the worst possible scenario. Gross. Some 
folks up. Well, that didn't go as planned. Okay, this isn't going as planned. I think I, I don't, I didn't mulligan every single card in my hand. I should have mulliganed every single card in my hand because I, I think if we don't have Ash and we don't have Grand Plaza, we're gonna look pretty weak, Come and that first. is what has happened here. Stand with me, brothers and sisters. All right, Jarvan can just be a barrier blocker. I was hoping that they were going to play something else as well. How you doing? How you doing? Who dares defy my will? Dash it. All right. They're going for atrocity. Yep. Good. So they're going for the lethal there with the atrocity because that, that would have done an additional seven damage because you know because now the Avaros and Sentry gets to strike me. So good time for them to do that. I wanted to have my scout alive still for this cataclysm. Fane Warden. Yeah, so I think next turn I'm gonna play like Warden and Cataclysm next turn to get that extra attack. A true Felyorian welcome. What do you want from me? Jarman could at least be a 5-5. Five five. Right, like it's six mana. Why is this card not like at least a 5-5? Five five? So if it's a fight they want. Leave this place. Let's have a ton of cards over there. Yeah, like Lux is a 4-5 that has barrier and then also like creates a whole bunch of cards. Definitely feel like Jarvan should be bigger than Lux. I pull the strings. You'll serve me one way or another. We protect these woods as they protect us. Well, I hope they don't have another atrocity. I guess they do. I guess they're not scared of brittle steel. <clears throat> that would be nice. They do, they do that thing, and then I just brittle steal it. But okay. All right, so our deck didn't look very good there. Admittedly, did not look very good, but no Ash, no Grand Plaza until the end of the game. All right, playing against Magro. Oh, None of these are Ash or Grand Plaza. Um, I. Yes, Ice Fill Archer may be keepable. There we go. I mean, Valor doesn't really do very much if you don't have any, like, Frostbite or anything. Alright, we got Ash. The desert by my side.
you may kind of recognize this this deck list is real similar to Ash Quinn that I played last format. I, I kind of replaced Quinn with Jarvan and, and then updated it a little bit with Jarvan. Um, definitely like that last game. Uh, Quinn would have been a whole lot better than Jarvan <laughs> that last game. And it's you know a lot easier to level up Quinn, and you get the two bodies, and you get a whole lot more. You know you get you get five five worth of stats instead of five three across two bodies just one one game though you know like it's small sample just one game so far but something to think about My name will echo through the ages. Seven. No, I don't. We don't really need Yetis. Dang, they had all three Stygian onlookers. Yuck. Me taking ten. Deck's not looking too good, Harvey. Not looking too good. Not looking too good. Forgive me, Avarosa. All right, not looking forward to this matchup again. Hopefully, they don't have Azir and like triple four one fearsome. And a bunch of good stuff. Doesn't. <laughs> it's kind of like the you know like these are the cards in our deck. I don't know if they're gonna win though. They are the cards in our deck. Yeah, I understand that you want challenger units. In this kind of deck, but like that's that's why like Grand Plaza is so important for us, right? Like we have three Grand Plazas in here for a reason. We we haven't drawn a Grand Plaza yet, and so our our deck has not looked very good without a Grand Plaza. But there's there's a reason why it's in the deck. They're the two most important cards in our deck are Grand Plaza and Dash. Opponent's hand looking a little rough. So that's what their their hand was just a bunch of ruinous paths and a ravenous butcher. Okay, there's Grand Plaza. Never fell. It only awaited my return. 
Are gonna try to have Ash kill that thing. All the world on one arrow. That's the plan. And then Rhyme Touch Shaman. So they, they must have another way to kill the Curse Keeper in hand. Because if you didn't, you'd still just sacrifice the Curse Keeper. Alright, so they had all three Ruinous Paths. So they gotta, you know, they gotta have like the Zero Mana card or a um, Blighted Caretaker or something like that. Yep, there's Blighted Caretaker. Come, come. This way. Bitter call. This was made a six. You'll make a fine totem. This puts me to eight. The time is right. Strike now. I think we probably need to go to eight. Let's play our two scout challengers against these zero threes. I definitely think okay, so if you if you like this deck that our opponent's playing and you think this deck's good, watch the Elise Azir deck that we played a few days ago. I think that Elise Azir version is much better than this version. I don't think Prankster is any good. I think that Elise is amazing and not playing Elise is certainly incorrect. And playing Neverglade instead of Prankster is better. The Elise, the Elise Azir deck we played the other day is awesome. And I think it's a really good rank up deck. It's really fast. It's just like this deck, but I think better. I guess I didn't even... Oh, right. That thing can't even block. I shouldn't... That's a bad challenge by me. That's a bad challenge. That's a bad challenge. That thing's gonna die anyway. I could... They could be at four. Um, would you make any ch changes to Aphelios after his toughness nerf? Is he too strong still? I I think he is, but we not very many people are playing Aphelios right now, and so I really like it. So right now I wouldn't make any too many like any changes because people just aren't really playing the card. But um, yeah, I mean I I think it still does a little too much, but I'm glad that people aren't really playing it right now. Yeah, if his rationale is Elise is too slow, he's just incorrect. Elise being multiple bodies for Azir is incredible. And yeah, prank, prank Surge is not a good enough card. Alright, I can pass. I'm going to keep this Harsh Winds available.
Frost reveals all. I'm sorry not to do that. Shatter them. Okay, GG's. One and two. So their hand was pretty bad. It was just all it was all the drain stuff. Like so they had just way too much drain things and we found Grand Plaza. Grand Plaza did a lot of work for us. So there we go. One and two. Alright, playing against some Lee Sin. I like this. This is a this is a kind of matchup, you know, like these Fiora decks, these Lee Sin decks, like where they completely build around their champions. If you play a whole bunch of frostbite cards, that's pretty good. So I like this, having a whole bunch of Frostbite cards against Lee Sin. Hey, Bogren, we just played against you. GG's. I'm sorry about your, your poor hand, how you just had all your top end stuff. Sorry about that. That happens sometimes. Okay, we're going to be relying on Ash. Most definitely. Winter, take you. My arrow won't miss. But I wanted, definitely want to get the frostbite in to start leveling up that ash. Don't really need to play that card. I'll just keep the one spell mana. So. Since I didn't play Blighting Assault, I have both Brittle Seal and Single Combat available. You know, if I would have played it, we would only have two mana, and I would only be able to play, like, one of these two. I want to Single Combat that? I'm not sure if I want to Single Combat that or, or not. Or wait till they play Lee Sin and Single Combat Lee Sin. Challenger. Oh, Overwhelm. Okay. As long as no spell shield, like, that's good. No spell shield, please. Yeah, that thing's already leveled up. I guess each each one of those things count as two two spells. My land, prepare yourself. Dang. Things already leveled up. The problem with it being leveled up, of course, is that it just puts the ash back in my hand. That's the problem there. I like Leeson starting at zero power every turn. The Emperor commands, the land obeys. <laughs> Why? All right. Or does this happen first? Yeah, so that happens first, so okay. <laughs> yeah, because like they're. Because they're the active player, so like the active player's ability happens first. Conflict is all in the mind. Still get to keep bouncing everything, though. But they concede. Okay. They deflated.
look at Jarvan go. Jarvan just defeated two of like the most popular decks. We got Lee Sin. We got the Azir aggro. Look at Jarvan go. All right, so playing against Control. Control Frostbite's not so good against Control. So we definitely want Grand Plaza, and then we need cards that kill them. But we don't really have those, so... Control's our worst kind of matchup. We want... We need, like, Feel the Rush and them not having Vengeance or Ruination. No, we didn't play Jarvan in either of the wins, no. Um... All right, I mean, please don't have Averroes and Sentry or anything that does one damage. So, like, basically your entire deck. Well, that's too bad. They have a card in their deck. I think this is our worst possible matchup, I think. I will bury the world in ice. In Averroes' name. Because I do not, we do not have the card advantage. Like we, we are a mid range deck trying to just beat other mid range decks with like all the combat stuff, right? Like we want, we want to face decks that love combat, right? We want to face like Fiora decks, Lee Sin decks, decks that love combat with all these Frostbite cards and you know Challenge and Frostbite, Ruination. That's bad news. This is gonna be fun. Do not embarrass me, troll. Yeah, troll. Do not embarrass me. Cataclysm is sweet. Really hope they don't play Ruination, because if they do, the game's over. But if they don't, we have a chance. Words make a ruler, but actions make I just can't beat Ruination, so there's no there's no reason to try to play around Ruination, because we lose if they have it anyway. One out of four for Jarvan level up. Almost there. Almost there. No. That was going to kill Lissandra. I can challenge here if I want. Make it two out of four for Jarvan's level up. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Have Jarvan take a damage to get towards the, the level up. Not let them block Ash with the 1 1. Two out of four. It is time for you to prove yourself, my warrior. Oh, well, that's game. Well, this was like survive damage, like whatsoever.
Where are you at? You're at three. Four, five. Quickly, before they organize. Yeah. I could potentially, if they have no cards, I could potentially do 17 damage right here. If they'd have no cards in hand, which not very likely, but. So do I want to try to do 17, or do I want to... Yeah, I, I kind of think I want to try to do 17. So either that, or, you know, like, I, I could kill the Draklorn. And I guess, yeah, I should have, I guess I should have the, we should just do 16 instead of 17, have the 1-1 one, one challenge here, because if they have, like, Withering Whale that does 1 damage, I guess Jarvan dies either way. Please not have Withering Whale. Ugh, they have Vile Feast. Yuck. We're going to have Jarvan level. It was going to be great. And then we're going to get Cataclysms. All right, don't kill Ash. Don't kill Ash. Don't kill Ash. All will fear and love our dark lady. Fear. Love. I'm really glad they didn't just like Ice Pillar first to give Ash vulnerable. I'm glad they didn't do that. Uh, I don't know if like pulling the spider with Jarvan backfire. Because if I, if I didn't pull the spider with Jarvan, then the spider would have blocked the Ash. They would have had more life. Yuck. Well, I guess we got to use this card now. Whoa, a Jarvan? It's leveled up? It's leveled up? It even tells you like how much like MP you have. Oh, well, you can't see it behind my camera, but. Ooh, a Cataclysm? Okay, okay. So let's see. Lots of things we can do here. What do you do leveled up, Jarvan? I know you make a Cataclysm. When you, when you attack, pay the thing, challenge, when I challenge, give me barrier this round. Okay. I don't know if we can play around Ruination. Like, that's the... That's kind of the question. Can we play around Ruination? And I don't think we really can. I don't think we really can. This is my better play against Ruination? A chill in the air. He said with a question mark. Because if I just attack with my Scout and put Jarvan into play, then they Ruination and they kill my Jarvan and my Ash. But they Ruination right now, then we get to play Jarvan. I don't know. I don't have... Don't have Ruination, please. Mm. Good dog. Without me. Yeah, if only we had Ranger's Resolve, right? Yeah. For my father, the king. To the flag. Ours is but to do and die. Alright, what's that last card in hand? Hopefully not a Vile Feast. Because I feel like if they had Vile Feast, they would have killed my 3-1 already. For the king! For the king! Cataclysm. Oh, wait, no, but you're not attacking also. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought that you were going to be attacking too. You're not. Uh, that didn't work. Right. They don't both attack. It's not, you know, rally. Um. All right. Two cards in hand. Yeah, I mean, I guess this will work down. Get a barrier. <laughs> Still need some practice with the Jarvan. I'm not a <laughs> the whole Jarvan Cataclysm thing. No At least Jarvan has cool voice lines. 
That's exciting. Huh. Deal two to everything. Well. So if I Cataclysm, I still get an additional attack, right? Because, yeah, this is just a free attack. Should be how that works. Hooray! Just keep Cataclysm. Just keep Cataclysm. Fine work, soldiers. Fine work. No Vengeance and no Ruination. Either one of those cards and we would have been doomed. We did it! Jarvan Carey. Ooh. Leveled up Jarvan. Okay, we got the Jarvan Carey game. We got to uh, just Cataclysm every single turn and just wear them down with all the Cataclysms. Um, you know, really glad they didn't have a ruination there, but we got a winning record with Jarvan. It looked pretty bad to start with. Right, it, it looked it looked bad to start with, but we won three in a row. Definitely had some good fortune in our wins for sure. You may have noticed all three of the wins we had the Grand Plaza, and I think that made a big difference. Both of our losses, zero Grand Plaza. All three of our wins, Grand Plazas. <laughs> There's probably something there, um, but yeah, Cataclysm was awesome. Grand Plaza was awesome. Um, so there we go. You know, like got some wins with Jarvin. Uh, <laughs> I definitely really overrated Jarvin during the. Um, uh, during the preview part, like where I I had Jarvan at way too high of a tier when I was talking about the, the tier champions. Uh, it really turns out that it's difficult to get Jarvan to be challenging a lot. It's difficult to level up Jarvan. It's also difficult to keep Jarvan alive with only three health. Yeah, overrated this card. But if you can get that leveled up Jarvan, then now we're talking. Because now we're getting Cataclysms every single turn. And also with Cataclysms, we get like Barrier Jarvan attacking. And, you know, now we're talking. Now that that's pretty awesome. So, uh, but anyway, there we go. That's Ash Jarvan. You are, like playing all this kind of Frostbite spells, you are going to be pretty good against some decks. Like decks that want to get in combat a lot. You know, your Fiora decks, your Lee Sin decks. I think those kind of decks just naturally, you're going to be good against playing three Harsh Winds, three Flash Freeze, three Brittle Steel. Um, should be pretty good in those kind of matchups. And so, like, any of your kind of, like, mid-range champions that are trying to attack a bunch um, should be pretty good. Where where you can struggle is definitely, like, the Ruination decks. You're going to struggle there. We did win that last one. They had no Ruination. They had no Vengeance. That really helped us out. Um, and then the Hyper Aggro uh, can also be a struggle if you aren't able to stabilize. But the the mid-range stuff, I, I, think, I think you do just fine with those other decks. Uh, your opinion on a Jarvan change. I think what I would do with Jarvan, to change Jarvan right now, what I would just do if I was right, I would just make Jarvan a 5-5. Five five. I think the Jarvan should be bigger than Lux. And I, I, I don't, yeah, I just, I don't really see why this card has to have three health. I think that this could just be a 5-5, five five, like all like the your, your other 5-5s five and stuff um, for six mana. That That's what I'd do to start with. Just make it a 5-5 five five and then and then see what, what happens. Five mana, no, I mean, I think it's okay at six. I think that's, it it gets pretty good. Start starts getting pretty good at five. I you could you could change that also if you want to make it a five mana five three. That's that's cool too. You could do either one of those. That that sounds like a, a fair thing to me also making a five mana. I guess. Um. So yeah, one of those two. But I I think what I would start with is just make it a five five and then just kind of see how it goes from there. You know, like there's yeah. There's not really any reason for it to only have three health. You know, get it. The, these champions, like these five plus champions, all have like five health, right? Like your Hecarums, your Garon, your Trundles, like all these things have like five plus health. It, Jarvan should be just like the rest. All right, but anyway, that's Ash Jarvan. So, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what else you're doing with Jarvan. You got some unique Jarvan decks. Love to hear about it. Um, you know, always looking for unique ways to play these new champions and all the old champions, you know, putting these unique champion combinations together. It's fun. You know, you don't really see Ash Jarvan <laughs> being played, right? So love playing these unique champion combinations. Um, anyway, uh, that's it here though for this one. So thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you for the next video.